Touch your voice. Well, I mean, I'm not basing. You were. I'm not basing. You were. I was not basing. I don't like it. I wasn't basing. <clears throat> Pew! No, I don't want to hear that. So we were just in an argument. And I was like, maybe I need to do a ring drive by on bay. Was I on time today, y'all? I got a lot going on here. Yeah, the tires over here giving me shit. That's I was not giving you shit. You started with me. Oh, really? Really? I could do that too, sir. <laughs> Kevin said, I'm mad. <laughs> Husband over there messing with me. I should probably have titled this. Will it let me title it now? No. Alright, whatever, man. Damn, do back vixen. I know y'all see me over here putting in some work. And fellas, I heard when you told me to get out of the uh, house. Ty, I'm take over Tuesday. And it is Surgeon Review. Hold on. I can't spell to save my life. At least not right now. Usually I can't. Ty, take over Tuesday. Surgeon Review. Dominican Republic. I'm going to have to do another one because I know I didn't get through all the surgeons. And I swear I'll be trying not to have no, six-hour lives. Hey, I'll drop kick bay. They've been messing with me, y'all. Kelly. Kelly. Come get your friend. Isn't that how um, Christopher Wallace used to wear his crown? I have no question box. Yeah, you told me you don't have a question box. But it's Tuesday. It's no questions for real anyways outside of what surgeon you want to hear about. And I hope y'all don't have no questions about no surgeons outside of ones that I didn't wrote down. Because it's 40 right here. And we got to get through all 40 surgeons. Somehow. That is really damn good. Shit. All right. Mm. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> you ready for this? All right, man. Roll up my sleeves. I love this jacket. Okay, so today, apparently, we're talking about surgeons. Yes, 40. I come, what am I drinking? It's either rum chata or whore chata. It's one of the chatas. Babe, what kind of chata is this? Is this? Don't, don't talk to me, chata. That's not what kind of chata I'm drinking. That's what chata you drinking. Because I wasn't talking to you except for asking a question. That's not nice. Bay gave me the middle finger. Like, I don't know where he sleep. You got to close your eyes eventually, sir. Oh, apparently. <laughs> I can undelete that picture, sir. Bay has the cutest butt. Um, I'm drinking one of the chatas. I don't know, some kind of chata, but it's really, really good. Chata. Thank you. I asked if it was rum or whore or coquito. There's one called whore, uh, whore chata. Oh, you're right. I am right. When am I not right? God gave men women for a reason, so we could be right. Yeah, she likes that shit. It's the only liqueur I like. I actually hate. I will drink enough tequila right along with y'all. Take a shot right now. I've never thrown up. Take a shot right now. No, I got to do this live. You you want me to start drinking real, real stuff while I'm doing a live with them? Ain't nobody going to hear about these surgeons. Go ahead. Tell them about the surgeons so we got a conversation. Man. They in his feelings. Maybe I, I may or may not have low-key started something before the live. And then I was like, hey, yo, you can't mess with me. I got to do this live. So... It's also not my fault either. I'm being a bad pre-wife. 
Don't be stomping around like you got a problem. I don't care about your heavy foots. All right. Plastic surgeons in the DR. So, um, throughout me researching these surgeons, I took notes on... Hold up, bae. <laughs> they said, no, don't get her drunk. We finally got to the DR. <laughs> he not listening to me no more. He playing video games. He put them headphones on real quick whenever I start rapping. Um, but I took notes in between because my goal is I want you all to know. Wait, is my is my crown still there? I want you all to not need me, but I'm here if you do need me. You give a man fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man how to fish, he can eat for forever. I want to teach you all how to fish. And then while you're fishing, if you need a co-fisherman, I'm here. One of the things that, at least when it, this is, I haven't gotten to Colombia yet, but when it, as it applies to the Dominican Republic, um, I always jack this up. Is my phone? No. Um, let me look up how to spell it so I don't jack up the spelling. Plastico. That's not nice. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I did spell it right. All right, cool. Um, so tip number one, when looking for surgeons in the Dominican Republic, you're going to type in any surgeon that you're interested in. And then those two words, Serrano Plastico, that means plastic surgeon It's backwards. But that's going to bring up their Instagram. If they have a real self, it'll bring up their real self. If they have a website, it's going to bring that up. But type in whatever surgeon you're interested in. I did this the whole time. It took me about four or five hours. And every surgeon, I typed in their name, Cirano Plastico. And it pulled them up. Um, after you pull that up. Now, unless I know for sure that a surgeon had complications, infections, and and it wasn't a localized situation where it was just one client, one girl, one instance, unless I know firsthand, because some of these surgeons, I do know of their work firsthand, or I, I worked with the clients. I did not include their deaths and their body counts in this review. So after you type in the surgeon's name, Cirana Plastico, you go through all the other stuff. Afterwards, you're going to go back and then you're going to type in their name and you're going to type in deaths. So that's tip number two. And surgeons names. And then deaths behind it. All right. And that'll let you know their body count. The last thing that when you're researching a surgeon that you would want to do is um, visit. It is a gold mine for the plastic surgery industry. Um, Doll Memorial on Instagram. I'm going to add them in. Um, tip number three. And this is specifically for researching plastic surgeons in the Dominican Republic. Now, these tips can be applied to other places. But this is specifically before, um, this is specifically for the DR, uh, at Doll Memorial. All right. Doll Memorial. So similar to my page, I'm going to always start out each of my lives until we somehow get it rectified. Like we realize are pulling in, uh, attorneys and lawyers to figure out why my page is so fucking badly under attack. Um, one of my employees got blocked from my page today. Um, if you are new to my page or if you are watching this later and you just found out what the entire shit, <laughs> you just found out who I am. Hi, my name is Ty. I do cool shit. I teach you how to get plastic surgery and not die. Turn on the notifications for this page. At the top of my page, there's a little bell there. You can go do it right now. I'll be here for the next, like, I try to keep these joints at an hour. They don't ever be an hour, especially not on Tuesday. They'd be like 90 minutes long. So go do that and then come back. 
hit the little bell, turn on all the notifications for a time. And um, un-effing fortunately, it's the trend that I've noticed that they're doing um, is that my page is being blocked from other business owners and other business pages. But if the notifications are turned on, it is less likely that it has happened. At least we haven't noticed it. But somebody in Facebook and Instagram land just don't like the kid. <sighs> um, and they have been unfollowing and blocking about three to five people a day from my page. All right. So now we got the little housekeeping rules out of the way. Follow Ty, turn on notifications. And the three tips, if you're just joining us, this Instagram will be saved and uploaded later. And you can catch those three tips that I just dropped because I'm not re rewinding because we got 40 surges to talk about. And I'm getting drunk. And like low-key arguing with Bay. Hey, Bay. All right. So let's dig into these surges. And before anybody asks me, the surges that we're going to be covering, I'm going to read all their names. Don't nobody ask me nothing. I, I So somebody else can say if Ty has gotten to it or not. Number one, this, did y'all know? Well, I'm sure there's more. But the ones that's on this list, everybody like goes ape shit over more. There's two Moras, and the more that I like is actually not the popular one. I mean, the first more he was cool or whatever. If I can understand my fucking handwriting, do y'all see this shit? This don't make no sense. Who can understand that? And I'm drinking. But the first one is Jose Mora. Next, I got Jorge Jimenez Tribio. Next, I got Andre Alejandro Mora. Then we got Martin Robles Mejia. Then we got Luis Fuentes, Cynthia Disla, Manuel Diaz Guzman. Um, I have Ramon Sabala, uh, Dr. Rafael Uberes. What is that? Frites? I cannot spell for shit. Uh, Francisco Rodriguez, Quiros, Fatima Almonte, Luis Mejia, uh, Fatima Almonte Rodriguez, Luis Mejia. Let me not mess up sis name. Did I like sis? No, I ain't like this. Um, uh, Dr. John Francie Laurent. Dr. Rafael Baez Fernandez. Dr. Jairo Ulero. I actually think I liked him. Yeah, my man's gonna get a blue check. I liked him. They over here messing with me, y'all. Next is, uh, I love you, babe. All right, next, I got John Pond. I don't want to say, like, he got an Italian and a Hispanic name smashed together. And French, Jean-Paul Guidicelli Saba. Um, Arginine Mercedes, Yili de la Santos, Felix Almanzar, Augustina Duran, uh, Duran, sorry. Um, Dr. Marcos, Marcus Soto. No! Dr. Tania... Medina de Garcia. Um, I have Nathalie Bello, Kelvin Eusubio Paulino. Then I have Alexandrish Carvendrish. That's a heck of a name. Um, Ricardo Ventura Herrera, Dr. Miguel Mota, Dr. Rafael Torres Acosta, Malal Desenia, Lima Vargas, Roquiris Roble. Who's after that? Um, Perez Rosario. Patrick St. Louis. Ew. Who the fuck wanted to know about him? I should fight you through the phone. Hello. Yes, Hello. Um, I can't pronounce her name. Yeah, yeah. But I think she's related to Nathalie Bello. I don't know if that's her mama or her auntie or her cousin. But I'm almost positive they related. Or I could just be being borderline racist. All right. I got um, Ivelisse Bello. Oh, I pronounced that just fine. Valenzuela. I don't know Valenzuela's whole name, but it didn't matter anyways. Manon, Mignon, whatever he wants to call himself today. And then, um, did I say Cabral? Probably not. Do we need to talk about Cabral? Please don't make me talk about Cabral, y'all. The last one I got is um, uh, Julio Suarez Bolinas. And then I guess Cabral, if... By the time I get to the end of this, if y'all want to still rap about him, we can. I don't want to, though. Pause. 
Cool. Oha said no. We ain't got to talk about Cabral. And what Oha says goes. So we not talking about Cabral. Well, Cabral was last anyways. Like, I don't know what they did talk about. Cabral is like the grown-up version of Desenia. Um, So, nah. We gonna keep it moving. Y'all ready? Cool. Jose Mora. So that's the popular one that everyone talks about. We're like, oh my God, Mora. Let me not lie to y'all. Where Facebook at? I'm in, oh, I'm, I'm in Facebook jail right now, too, by the way, y'all. Don't ask me what I be doing with my life. I couldn't tell you. But um, I'm in Facebook jail for about seven days. Um, groups. Where's my groups at? Mora. Yes. Mora. More. Ah, shitty. I didn't mean to do that. I just want to know what more this is. Because I don't want to be lying to y'all. Just, just give me more. But anyway, so Jose Mora um, is board certified. Now, if they talk about Cabral, please, they need to know why not to go to him. <sighs> Cabral's last, Kels. Cabral's is last. Jose Mora is board certified. If it listed it, I didn't go checking for that. The last, oh, here's tip number four. If I happen to say a surgeon that piques your interest, Write their name down. If you want me to spell it out for you, no problem. I got you. Should I need help spelling half this shit out myself? And then you go do your research following all the little tips that I give you along this live. And then you can go figure out if they got a body count. You can go figure out if they um, got good bedside manner. Unless I found that out on my own, I'm not going to say it. But if there's a surgeon that you like, write that surgeon down. And then you go do some extra research. But I'm just presenting the ones to you all and then telling you the, the ones to stay away from. So, Mora is board certified and doesn't consistently give hips. Um, clients. Oh, I don't like it when they post a whole bunch of clients that have their clothes on. That sounded creepy, didn't it? But it's hard to see how a client heals. It's hard to see their tummy tuck incisions. Like, it's one Dr. Williams doll. I'm still, I'm sorry. He's so overrated. And I really just want to surgically cancel him. But bitches keep going to him. So, whatever. But... Let's say if this is my torso, right? And my belly button is up here. And then the top of my vagina is right here. This bitch's tummy tuck was right here. Her incisions. And then when asked about it, he was like, you, you know, that's just not my thing. Motherfucker, what? You got commas in the price tag. You don't do something that's not your thing. And then he's not cheap. I'm sorry. Who's sorry? But Jose Mora, I can't see the tummy tuck line to give y'all feedback on it because... More so than not, most of his clients were clothed and covered up. Who is good for petit, petty, pet, more petite clients? I'm going to get there. So this particular live is not a back and forth Q&A. If y'all got some feedback or something like that, but there's way too many surgeons for me to stop and be like, oh, yeah, go to this one. My job is to present information. And I want to say this as humbly as possible and not coming off as cocky and conceited. But y'all... Listen, take notes, tune into what you want to tune in. If you got to go, cool. But on Tuesdays, it's not a whole bunch of Q&A. If I get to a surgeon that you want to, that you like, I do have surgeons who are here for more petite clients, but I'm not going out of order. So if you want this free information, because I charge for consultations, if you want this free information, chill, go get some popcorn or maybe a drink and hang out with me. All right, so most of Moore's cl um, clients, um, they he'll have them naked so you can see, like, how out of shape they were or how much loose skin they have. And then the after picture, everybody look good in clothes. I mean, no, they don't. But you got to be committed. It takes some effort to to not look good in clothes with a faja. On. Some of his clients have fajas on and waist trainers on underneath of the cloak. This is going to blow my life because it's pulling my crown down. Underneath of the clothes, and I wasn't feeling it. Um, he works on, uh, which makes it harder to see actual results. He works on slimmer clients and thicker clients. Now, when I say slim and thick, I don't consider myself a BBW. At one point in time, I was a BBW. And there's nothing wrong with being a BBW. I love myself no matter what was going on my waistline. But when I say I'm a thicker client, there's clients, um, BBW clients, I would say would be like a size 16 and up. 
Like I'm depending on what the fuck I'm eating. I'm somewhere between a 10 and a 14. It really depends on the day. So Mora does good with clients that um, he can do slim clients and he can do thick clients. Not good with BBW clients. Um, tummy tucks. Uh, uh, tummy tucks. Help get dramatic results. I see it. Something that you're going to learn when it comes to the Dominican Republic is that <clears throat> they'll do tummy tucks on clients who don't even need them for real. I don't want to say that's a sign of an under talented doctor because you do want to get the results that you're looking for. Um, it is just it's it's a thing that they do in the DR. Like there's clients who get tummy tucks who have never had children. Or oh, one of the first pictures that I saw on Mora, he did a tummy tuck on a client who didn't look like she ever had a kid. And I don't it sometimes it's hard to tell if somebody has had children or not. And they, if they have a diastasis and they need muscle repair, the only way to do it is through doing a tummy tuck. But she didn't look like she needed muscle repair because he had several pictures of her turned to the side and she didn't look like she had a diastasis. Like she didn't need a tummy tuck. He could have just did some fierce ass lipo. But when you're lazy or you're in a rush and you got too many clients on your schedule, you do things on clients that they don't necessarily need and it will get her done. But now you got the incision that in a scar that you didn't have to get had you gone to a more talented surgeon that fits your body type. So Moore does a lot of tummy tucks on clients who really don't need them. Um, <clears throat> it does get the waist really stupid small. And when I say stupid small, I'm talking like a 24, 22 inch waist. But so it's a toss up. You have to figure out what you want. You have to figure out. Do you want a that's incision? Like unless you have to have that incision. They took my pain off. Unless you have to have that incision. And you're young. Like, that girl was, like, 22 years old. I'm just not... It's not my cup of tea. Um, thank you. <laughs> Can I my pen back? Scold. <laughs> um, a low tummy tuck scar that allows... So, when he does do tummy tucks on people who needs them, um, the tummy tuck scar is pretty low. And then, um, while he doesn't consistently give hips... There's some girls, I can't attest to whether their hips were depleted over time or if he just didn't give them to them. But from the clients that I saw when I was going through his work, a lot of them were fresh off the table with no hips. But that booty projection was everything. So um, that's my take on Mora. We're going to sip to that. Um, he did not get a blue check. All right. Again, his name was Jose Mora. Next. I got uh, Jorge Jimenez Toribio. That's spelled um, Jimenez, J-I-M-E-N-E-Z. Oh, wait, I didn't like him that much. You ain't got to write this down. Never mind, we're going to keep moving. Somebody in um, asked for Toribio. Toribio was not originally on my list. Um, but I added him because you all wanted to know, and I included him. Toribio does decent boobs. Don't write his name down, by the way. It's not worth it. You can just let me talk and get it out for whoever wanted to know this. Um, Toribio does decent boobs, but um, often uneven. Um, tummy tuck clients are left uh, wide. Not cereal box wide, but I'm like, you could have did a better job with that if you would just include a little bit more lipo, took your time, and sculpted them just a smidge more. Those results would have looked way better. This looks like lazy work to me, Toribio. Um, the li my next thing, lipo was basic. The clients had minimal projection. I want to cancel him already. Um, he had really good bedside manner. Uh, cause I read through a lot of the reviews for these clients to try to find the bedside manner if someone spoke on it. So to review has good bedside manner, even though he does questionably mediocre work. Um, clients will look better than they started, but nothing amazing or worth a double take. Occasionally uneven lipo. I wrote that twice. His lipo was uneven and his boobs were uneven. Um, clients would start out looking good. So let's say if he showed them fresh off the table, on the table, or maybe a couple days afterwards. But when they wound up healing, they didn't heal good. They didn't look good. I don't recommend. You know that, uh, Moving on. Next, we got Andre Alejandro Mora. The other Mora. Awesome. I gave this Mora a blue check. Okay. All right. So this Mora is board certified. Yeah. Um, great even boobs, unlike Toribio. Not a lot of hip projection. 
but great butt projection. That booty projection makes up for the hip. Um, the hip projection wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. The clients did not have hip dips. Now with Chang, Chang will give you stupid booty and no hips. More could have given a little bit more hips to even out. And this is the other more. This is more number two. Andre Alejandro Moore could have given a little bit more hips to match that booty, that stupid butt that he puts on people. But the butt matches the legs. Um, great chin lipo. Um, he works on slimmer clients and BBWs. So he has a very wide range of clients that he works on. If you are, I, and it's done in a healthy, tasteful manner. I got to some surgeons and I was like, this is so fucking unsafe. This is why the DR has the name or has a reputation of being dangerous because of dumbass, dangerous ass surgeons like I'm going to get to. Alejandro Mora will work on a BBW, but instead of taking you from a size 20 down to a size 8 in one surgery, it's not safe. He'll take you from a 20 to like maybe a 16 or a 14. That's safe. You can still get good results. You started off as a big girl. You didn't lose no weight. You still going to be a big girl. You just going to be a snatch big girl. So the, the surgeon works on slimmer clients as well as bigger clients. Um, love the range. Love the consistency. Um, he works on clients that have slightly higher BMIs. And when I say slightly higher BMI, it is plastic surgery is still not uh, a solution for weight loss. You either need to still lose some weight. Or minimize the amount of procedures or change your expectations of what you're going to get out of this one procedure. And so for him taking a slightly higher BMI, I'm talking somewhere between like a 42 or maybe a 44. And even that is fucking high. But if all they're getting is lipo or if all they're getting is a BBL, it's not the end of the world. It's when you're trying to be a whole builder bitch. And you want your arms done and your chin and your boobs. You want them reduced and lifted and put some implants in. Do you know how much blood you lose while you're on the table? The bigger you are, the more weight, um, the more blood you're going to lose. The more the anesthesiologist has to work to keep everything going. And it just becomes the longer you're under the anesthesia, the more unsafe it becomes. And now, oh my God, the DAR isn't safe. No, you dusty hoe. You should have lost weight first. Damn it. Giving everybody a bad rap. Sorry. No, I'm not. Um, and um, so back to Mora. I can't get over this. This is the second Mora. Mora does better work on larger clients than he does with smaller clients. He works on men and he does something that I've dubbed. I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but I call it a non-vixen natural results where like you kind of like a vixen. A non-vixen with natural results is not like she got a 19 inch waist and then a 49 inch butt um well that's a little extreme uh a true vixen is a 20 inch differential between the hips and the gluteal measurement so if you're uh or between the waist and the gluteal measurement so if your waist is a 28 and then your butt is a 48 that is a true vixen um and then you can compress your waist and waist train and get it smaller a non-vixen but natural results when most people say natural that definition is all over hey sorry i hit the wrong button my bad i love you he was getting loud and i was like fussing over you and i'm i'm sorry don't pout i just been getting on bay case this whole time man god damn it but um the word natural is uh, too vague. You know, what's natural to somebody who is 60 years old, who grew up in the 50s and the 60s, is going to have a different definition of what natural is than someone who grew up in the 90s. And, you know, we, they grew up with Buffy the Body and um, uh, Pinky and um, Bernice Burgos. Eh, yeah, she is vixeny. So the word natural is going to differ depending on who you're talking to. Um, when I say a non-vixen natural look, it's like you're kind of a vixen, but you're not sure. It's almost like, yeah, you came off the table, but when people look at you, they can't tell you had work done. You look damn good. Your waist is put together. 
you're um you got a, a a very nice shape but it's not really small you don't look overdone you don't look exaggerated so anytime that i use that throughout this live or any of the lives and i say a non-vixen natural look that's what i'm talking about you don't look natural natural whenever i use the word natural you just want the little pieces of fat gone but you like when people be looking natural or they use the word natural you low-key wind up looking how you looked when you came in after you get off the table. To me, that's natural. They're just like tweaking and perfecting. That's not what most of y'all want. Stop using that word. All right, moving on. But if you haven't noticed, I love Andre Alejandro Mora. Next. Oh, I got a drink. Oh, man. Somebody All right, we got Martin Roble Mejia. Does not do BBW, at least not well. Um, that's the look I want. Well, doctors know what I'm saying if I say it that way. No, they will not. You have to talk to doctors in numbers. If you have a question about how to talk to doctors or how to describe the look that you're going for, um, I didn't go too much in detail, but there is a video on my YouTube that says this is how you talk to doctors. Um, if you don't want natural, then instead speak to them this way. Go watch that video. Um, if you go into my Facebook group, it's completely free. It's time out post op corner. I'm going to type it. Um, time out post op corner. There's an article of exactly i just haven't had the time to record it into a video yet but it's a whole article on how to talk to a surgeon what questions to ask the surgeon what questions to ask the anesthesiologist um what to look out for um how to prep for going into the surgery room all of that is inside of time out post-op corner all right back to martin roble mejia martin roble not a bbw client uh surgeon does great mommy makeover transformations but on a slimmer or thick um client um dope lipo i really love roble's lipo on everybody um roble does really good um breast augmentation breast reduction and a breast lift uh roble is consistent on getting rid of hip dips loved love that about roble and Roble does more of a slim vixen or the non-vixen natural look. Nice ab etching and J plasma. So overall, Roble um, is a good look. Roble doesn't do BBW. Um, Roble death count is, uh, I want to say is up there. I don't know for sure. That's the only reason why, and I didn't have time to go check. That's the only reason why I didn't check Roble off. But using the tips that I gave you, um, you can go and research Roble. Um, and then now you cannot completely cancel, especially in the DR, man. Y'all be lying and shit. Um, no, I haven't done Bello yet. Um, when it comes to the DR, people be so pressed to get surgery that they, I've experienced more so than not. And I don't ever like blaming clients, but they, uh, lie about their health history. And unlike in America, you have to submit your forms. You have to submit your health history for review. In the DR, you don't. They go off of your word. They go off of like everything is done the day before, almost the day before or a few days before you get your surgery. And they're going off of what they find on you from their actual physical exams and their palpitations and um, doing their um, blood test. And then what you tell them. It is way more of a free for all in the DR than in, um, am I going to discuss Carlos St. Hilaire? No, I'm not. Carlos St. Hilaire is not on this. The DR, and then, so the surgeons that I have here for the most part, this is Santo Domingo. Do y'all know how big the DR is? There's surgeons all over this fucking country. I'm going to go over to, um, Atlanta next week and then the following week, Columbia, and then I can come back to the DR. It's just way too many surgeons in the DR, but Carlos St. Hilaire was not on my list for today. And neither was the second one that you gave me. Um, but Roble, when I was reading through, there was one client who died who had diabetes and didn't tell them. There was another one who died and had a heart attack um, and had like a, a heart arrhythmia that she was declined surgery for in the States. And so she found surgeons in the DR. Um 
part of the DR being a wild, wild west and just a fucking free for all, it does um, tie into people knowing that you can lie about your health history and you don't have to be honest enough. Right? Don't do that at all. It makes it worse for everybody. But that's all I have to say about Roble. Um, next, I have Luis Fuentes. Luis Fuentes, I did give a blue check to and I have never worked on a Fuentes doll. I don't know if anybody has gone to Luis Fuentes, but I am a fucking fan of Luis. Um, Fuentes, F-U-E-N-T-E-S. Um, I called it Waste. Oh. Okay, I take it back. I gotta take my blue check back. I'm sorry. Fuentes is only good on... So... <laughs> Fuentes does do bigger clients, but Fuentes does not do good work on bigger clients. I put in all caps and underlined it. Horrible fucking work on larger clients. As long as you're not a larger client, and I don't even think I like them on thick clients. Luis Fuentes might be good for, you ever see somebody that like, they skinny fat? And I'm like, I'll be looking at them like, yo, if you don't pick a struggle. But they skinny, but they fat at the same time, but they skinny. Or if you just skinny, just skinny, but not fat at all, just only skinny. Or if you got a bunch of loose skin, but you still skinny, Fuentes is a surgeon for you. I would send anybody that is not thick or BBW to Fuentes. I put waist erasing lipo. That shit looked amazing. Works wonders on skinny clients. And then I put in parentheses, apparently only skinny clients. Does horrible work on larger clients. Does an amazing breast aug, breast reduction, breast lift does amazing revisions and even amazing explants so let's say if you had your implants in for um uh 10 15 years you need them taken out they did not heal well or maybe you wind up getting i can never say that damn word contracture capsular com, capsular contracture um fuentes worked what it looked like he took a magic wand it was like ding and they just turned out perfect um, great BBLs, uh, great lipo, great tummy tuck, great boobs on skinny people. I did not like Fuentes on anybody that wasn't already slim. It looked questionable and sketchy. Looks like I could have done a better job. Y'all want me doing y'all surgery. Mm -mm. My whole fucking kid. All right. Next we got Cynthia Disla. I love me some Disla. Um, but the only bad thing I had to say about Disla, Disla is board certified, does great mommy makeovers, um, small waist clients, or if not, she can get your waist really small. Um, she's a good round one doctor is what I put. Cynthia Disla is, um, does great BBL projection. The only reason I didn't give her a blue check and the only negative thing I have to say about Disla is that Disla wasn't consistent with hips. If you come with your own hips, you fine. If you need her to give you some, eh, there were some clients who had it and it looked good. And this is coming off the table. And other clients, eh, yeah. Um, so a lot of surgeons, somebody said that this looks good, but she's been slacking recently. I think she just been, um, certain clients, um, certain surgeons, once they get popular, they wind up getting overbooked. When it comes to burns, unless it's, consistent burns which it may be with disla because i haven't paid attention to her recently i know she did have a problem with burns if you have more than one procedure and then you don't tell the surgeon that makes you more susceptible to burns if uh, a surgeon does give out a lot of burns it could be a surgeon thing or it could be the client wasn't honest about the things that they had done to their body ahead of time because dr doesn't ask for any of that shit so there's that um, but yes, I, I do know that, uh, Disla has dealt with burns before I didn't, or do not know if it's still a thing. That's where you come in. If you like you some Disla or you want to learn more about Disla, write it down, go look it up. This, I'm in Disla's, uh, Facebook group. Um, and it's not moderated by Disla to my knowledge. So you add yourself to, um, most of these surgeons have Facebook groups. That's going to be tip number five. Add yourself to a Facebook group. Tip number Five, add yourself to the surgeon's Facebook group. And in that way, you could talk to actual clients who have been to that surgeon before. 
All right, moving on from Disla. Again, I also said that Disla was a good round one surgeon, which will address the burns. If you've already had one surgery, I would not suggest you going to Disla. Not a good look. Yes, I'm saving this live. I always save the lives. I might take my sweet ass time uploading them to YouTube, but they get uploaded immediately to Instagram. All right, next. I done wrote a whole fucking paragraph on this, man. And he ain't get a blue check. Why did he get a blue check? Manuel Diaz Guzman does a good, not great, a good mommy makeover. Um, it's great for clients between 4 to 12. So that's um, not skinny, but you might be slimmer to thick. I did not like him on skinny clients and I didn't like him on BBW clients. Does best work on medium sized clients. I loved his uh, breast augmentation. Um he did leave clients with hip dips. I didn't like that. Um, smaller clients had hip dips um, at, coming off the table. Um, he also has a trend of taking clients who are bottom heavy um, and does wonders with shaping them. Um, okay, so when I say bottom heavy, I saw clients who maybe they had really they had naturally wide hips, naturally thick thighs, but from like the belly button up, they were like this. So they were already naturally shaped like a pear. And then he just sliced the living shit out of them. But I'm starting to notice that Guzman is very particular in the type of clients that he winds up seeing. Because a lot the best work was done on those clients. And I was as I scroll through, a lot of those clients who are bottom heavy, um, he showed off on. But if you weren't bottom heavy, wasn't as talented with so you couldn't be skinny and you couldn't be a bbw you had to either be medium sized or bottom heavy um for guzman to be your doctor but if you are bottom heavy or you're a medium sized client guzman is the shit for you um does wonders with shaping those types of clients um didn't have the best projection especially on skinny girls so skinny girls guzman is not your surgeon um, does have amazing hip projection, um, and does really good work on medium sized clients. I already said that. Good job, Ty. All right, cool. Any questions? No? Great. Moving on. Next, number eight, Ramon Sabala. I gave Ramon a blue check. Let me cross out your blue check, Fuente, so you don't get one no more. Take it back. All right, with Sabala, um, Sabala takes larger clients and does really good with them. Sabala, so any BBWs in the audience? Do I have any BBWs? Um, Sabala did good with medium, thick, and BBW clients. Um, with a lot of skin from, oh, so if you are a weight loss client, maybe like a VSG client, Sabala is good with VSG clients. Uh, keeps clients even. So you get off the table, you heal evenly. Um, the butts always match the legs. <laughs> um, he does that natural vixen look that I was talking about. Amazing BBL, amazing projection, good boobs, um, good mommy makeover. Overall, dope ass surgeon, Ramon Sabala. Next, we and Sabala is S-A-B-A-L-A. Ramon Sabala. All right, after Ramon, I have Dr. Rafael Uberes Frites. Don't write it down. Not worth it. I said inconsistent. Um, at first, I liked his boobs. Like, I put beautiful breast aug, breast reduction, breast lift, and then I scratched out the word fucking beautiful and put what the fuck. Because it was only one picture that was good. And that was the first one I seen. I was like, yes. And I kept scrolling. I was like, no. No, who raised you? Um, he doesn't lipo flat. Uh, he does give good BPO, BBO projection, but uneven hip dips. So you have one hit, one lat, or maybe one hip and one hip dip. It just wasn't consistent. Um, coming off the table, it looked like that. Tummy tucks and belly buttons were way too high. I don't like high belly buttons. Make that shit look normal. It shouldn't be... It, your natural waistline is where your waist starts to curve in at right here, right? Your belly button shouldn't be up here. It should be... If this is the curve... 
I need to snatch my fingers more. If this is the curve, your belly button should be where my nose is. Right about there, I guess. Anyway, his shit was too high and I didn't like it. Um, <laughs> I put boobs, heels, stupid, dumb, far apart. And they look crazy unnatural. <laughs> so we're going to surgically cancel Frites. Um, if you want to know what his name is, just to stay away from him. It was L-L-U-B-E-R-E-S Frites. No Frites. All right, after that, we got Francisco Rodriguez. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Rodriguez. Love me some Rodriguez. I've seen Rodriguez work on skinny girls, work on bigger girls. Honestly, I think Francisco Rodriguez does better work on... Even though he can't work wonders and find a, do a skinny BBL. But Rodriguez is a, a thicker to a BBW surgeon. Um, or maybe a medium to a thick and a BBW. Um... He has had issues with uh, infections in the past, but I don't think that was him. I think that because he was working at Cipla at the time, and I think it was the surgery center. And Cipla still got issues with infections. It's dumbed down, especially after the fiasco with Cabral, I think a year or two ago when they got shut down. Um, but Francisco Rodriguez is at Plasti Center now. Hasn't had any issues, no complications, no deaths. Um, does really, really good work. Um, solid work. Shit, he did my... Um, <laughs> my breast reduction <laughs> i love rodriguez all right next after rodriguez we have kiros kiros is my favorite for weight loss clients my client just grabbed my elbow meat you using the wood kelly <laughs> kelly is multitasking and tuning in while um fucking up some clients waistline but we like that right until it's us on the table I don't like Kelly. Whenever she pulls out the wood, I'm like, all right, session's over. You can go home now. We're good. We're done. Go home. Bye. But uh, Kuros, Q-U-I-R-O-Z. Kuros does wonderful work on weight loss clients. Or if you're not a weight loss client, but let's say you just have a whole bunch of skin, Kuros is the man. Um, good booty, low incision, you heal nicely, consistent lipo. Kuros did have one death last year. It wasn't deter and she didn't die on the table. She didn't die after on sur um, during surgery. The fuck was that? She died um, a little while afterwards, and it was not deemed to be. I don't want to say it wasn't his fault, but um, it wasn't like oh he did something wrong during surgery, and that's why the girl died or the client passed. I don't want to sound insensitive. It is sad when anyone passes, whether it's surgically related or not. But that is one of the risks that are associated with plastic surgery. So, but to my knowledge, QRS does have one death, but it wasn't deemed to be um, a like malpractice error, if that makes sense. All right. After that, I have Fatima Almonte Rodriguez. Don't write that down. All right. So Fatima does. Oh, I lied. We can't write that. Did I lie to y'all and I set y'all up for failure? No. Why did I say not write down her? <gasps> I shaded you for no reason, Fatima. Okay, write it down. Write it down. You got Fatima Almonte, A-L-M as in Mary, O-N-T-E, Rodriguez. Um, She works on BBWs. She has really cute belly buttons. Um, And really cute butts. I had nothing but good stuff to say about her. Um, does a sexy low tummy tuck scar. Um, great. Um, you can't use any silicone shit on me neither, Kels. Um, just come in with your hands and we'd be all right. Fatima Almonte or Rodriguez. Um, great arm lifts, good mommy makeover, and is really good on VSG clients. Um, Fatima is uh, a blue check client. And I mean, <laughs> she's not a client, a surgeon. Um, what I'll do whenever I review the surgeons, if I really, really fucking like the surgeon and like super bang with them when I'm uploading it and I put all of their names and stuff inside of the description, um, for that particular live, I always put a check next to them. Or if I hated the surgeon, I put a whole bunch of X's next to them. So I will upload her with her check because we like her. All right. Next we got Louis Mejia. Luis Mejia has a blue check as well. That's four blue checks in a row. I won't even drink him. All right. Um, 
one of the biggest reasons why I loved, love, 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 loved um, Mejia. I don't think I, did I go over Medina? I feel like I'm missing. I did go, yeah, she's done it. All right, I'm like, no, my camera. Mejia um, specializes in fixing fibrosis. There's some surgeons who won't go over another surgeon's work. Or when, like when I was talking about Cynthia Disla, I wouldn't suggest or say that's a good idea to allow her to go over someone's work. But um, when it comes to Mejia, he kicks ass. Like that's his shit, fixing fibrosis. So um, he does great tummy tucks and he'll combine a tummy tuck with a back lift. So he'll pull you down in the front. He'll pull you up in the back. Send you home looking smooth and flat without all this extra skin. He works on men. He works on women. He does fire ass ab etching. Um, he fixes previous surgeons fibrosis with Vaser. And he it's a lot. Like it's not just like one or two. Or I saw some surgeons and I put, I put it in here where they're like recycling their work. Um, nah, yo. Like Louis Mejia is the man. Um, he leaves clients with... Um, natural vixens or a natural athletic look um he uh gives great projection has a nice low tummy tuck line good with boobs good with mommy makeover and he's definitely now one of my faves that's what i put Louis mejia is now a tie fave white dim all right next we're on to John Francis Laurent. I liked him, didn't I? I did. Why didn't I blue check Laurent? Um, I don't remember. I've never worked on a Laurent girl. And now that's his name is spelled J E A N. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how Kelly multitasking too, because this bitch ain't missed the beat. How you got sil you doing silicone cups and you still rapping, fam? I got we got questions. But uh, John Francis Laurent B, <laughs> it's spelled J E A N. Francie F R A N T Z Y, Laurent L A U R E N T B. With a period behind it, cause he fancy. But um, he was great at turning BBWs into a snack. Is what the fuck I put. Now I'm going to get to Almond's arm. I do not like Almazar. Almazar wanted me. It made Almazar made me want to fight him, like catch a flight, go down and drop kick the shit out of him while he's eating a sandwich or something. Knock the sandwich out of his hand and then knock him out. When I made the comment where I was like, "There's a surgeon on here who will take a larger client, and then she'll still be a slightly larger client, but she'll be like crazy snatched." That's who I was talking about. Um, I don't like the term, at least I'm not referring to people turning trash into treasure. So instead, let's say, because I already think y'all are all treasures already. He'll take a treasure and turn you into some priceless, rare jewel. <laughs> this man is crazy fucking talented. Does amazing work on any client. I mean, whether you skinny, you a BBW. Um, anything like he'll take where you are and then make it better. He's not going to take you where you are and then take you down to a size two. That's dangerous. But, um, his, uh, the procedure results match their body. He takes clients with higher BMIs. Um, he does amazing diastasis repair. So muscle repair. Um, he makes high booties full. So you ever seen, and these were like natural weird looking ass booties. Where they got a bunch of high booty, but then they got no booty. Like, let's say if this is the booty and it curves in right here. They got a hump up here or maybe they got a natural shelf and then it just slopes in. Like, they go to, they owe the ass factory some money. And then he come in and he fill in that bottom booty for them. Um, he literally gives people natural looking entire new bodies. I love Laurent. Have nothing bad to say about him. Go Laurent. Does he have a body count? Maybe. That's your job. Go look. Um, because when I went to Dahl Memorial, I do think I saw his name. Did not read as to why. But I think I only saw it once. Who repairs fibrosis? Where you been 
that. I just told y'all it was Louise Mejia repairs fibrosis. That didn't. That wasn't dramatic enough for me. Let's try it again. That's better. <laughs> I was focused on that. All right. Um. But uh. Oh shit. I forgot. Mejia. He fixes fibrosis. Real good. All right. Next we got Dr. Rafael Bayez Fernandez. Um. Fernandez, oh, Baez does uh, slimmer clients. If you're not slim or skinny, don't go to Baez. Uh, skinny, natural vixen, you won't look overdone. Amaze balls at filling in hip dips. Um, so Baez is for skinny clients. If you're a client who's struggling to put on weight, if you're a client who's struggling to hold on to the weight that you don't already put on, um, you are like, I don't know where the fuck they're going to get the fat from. Um, Bayez is a good look for that. So skinny, skinny clients, slim clients in the DR, Bayez. Thank you. All right, next I have another blue check. Um, Jairo Ulerio, that is spelled J-A-I-R-O-U-L-E-R-I-O. Um, does mommy makeover? Um, really good diastasis separation and muscle repair. Really good. Um, uh, nice, even tummy tuck that follows along the natural line. I love that. Now I don't like it when, um, why didn't I like Roble? I didn't have a problem with Roble. I just said Roble doesn't do BBWs, but I didn't have a problem with Ro Roble. Um, Roble just doesn't do BBW clients. You just can't be a big girl and go to Roble. But with Ulario, I don't like it when the tummy tuck line just goes straight across or you just put it wherever you want to. A really talented surgeon follows where a client's natural lines of demarcation are. So as your if your stomach naturally curves right here, or naturally comes down, and then the surgeon follows that, man, bomb shit, bomb shit. Um, and Ulario was giving me those vibes all day long. Um, it was consistently following clients natural lines of demarcation um he works on skinny girls damn Ty, i put fat girls that's not nice we're gonna say phat but he worked oh no this was the the struggle clients so they, he works on skinny fat girls <laughs> he works on skinny fat girls um mainly doing mommy makeovers um can work on a medium client and a thick client Gives natural looking BBL with great projection. Looks amazing and it doesn't look like you had any work done. You look good. You'll feel good. Um, you'll be filled in everywhere. Like your body fits your body. It doesn't look like anything is out of place where you're looking like you need to get some of that ass back. You, know, you got a dirty diaper. Someone needs to change you. Not Ulario. I liked Ulario. Again, if you missed the name, it is J-A-I-R-O space U-L-E-R-I-O. Ooh, you. All right, next we got somebody who got one hell of a fucking name, but I don't like him, so don't write it down. I'm just gonna struggle to say it. John Paul Guida Chelly Saba. Uh, I guess I didn't struggle that much. Don't write that down. So Saba gives dump truck booties, but not in a good way. Not like in the Cisco. She got dropped like a truck, truck, truck. Thighs like what? What? All night long, let me see that dunk. You wouldn't be singing that when you're looking at his shit. It just like, ugh, dumps like a truck. Empty it. Um, some of the legs matched the booties. Most of them didn't. Um, he took some BBW clients, but they were all fucking sloppy. Other surgeons would have turned these types of clients away. But now, I don't like this. Like, there's certain signs that when you look at somebody's work... Did I give a review on Jacome? No. All right, let me add these down. I'm not doing these today. So we got Jacome, um, Carlos, St. Hilaire. We're going back to Mr. Need to Empty the Booty. Um, He would take clients that should have been like, they should have been told, you need to go back and lose some more weight. And so he would take them on and he didn't do a good job. Um... And he tried to work some kind of unrealistic surgery magic, but he failed. He was a shitty magician. Um, clients were left with too much skin, 
kind of good, but overall inconsistent. Not a fan. Next, we have Argeny Mercedes. If you are listening to me, um, oh, Velasco. No, fuck Cabral. I mean, he on his list, but fuck Cabral. No, I am not a fan of Cabral. It was actually a point in time where, and I don't hide the, fan, the fact that I'm not a fan of Cabral. There was a point in time that if you were a Cabral, a Cabral doll, then you would have to see another massage company. I wouldn't see you. That's no different than now. If you go to Doll Memorial and scroll down, the name that's on there the most is Desenia. Yet motherfuckers keep going to him and keep dying. Um, stop supporting people who do reckless shit. My opinion, my professional opinion, totally entitled to it. Not a Cabral fan. You do what you want. Whatever works for you. You float your boat. It doesn't float my boat. Don't like a brawl. Don't hide the fact I don't like a brawl. Does do a brawl do good work? Yes. If you don't die. Personal, professional opinion. All right. Arjuni Mercedes. Mercedes is one of those surgeons where he is crazy, crazy talented. But um, overbooked. Takes too many clients a day. I don't think they even. There's a Benjamin in the DR. All right. I don't even think they hide the fact that Mercedes Takes too many clients. And it's still pandemic outside. Um, he does do good work. And uh, a cat had a baby in the, um, in the surgery center. <laughs> I don't have anything bad to say about Arjuni Mercedes. Except that he does too many clients. But because of that. And that winds up. I mean it doesn't sound like it's that big, big of a deal. It is. You wind up putting other people's lives in jeopardy. Because you're either um, rushing through surgeons. Sir, you're, you're either rushing through surgeries, you're, ha, um, ha, you will fuck around and overlook something and it will come at the cost of somebody else's life, their results, their whatever. It hasn't happened yet. I don't know. Yeah. Mercedes has a death. I think, um, it hasn't gotten out of control, but I don't like the trend that is going down. And that's my take on Mercedes. Good work. Overworked. All right. Next we have Yeely. Um, Yeezy's good, but I, unpopular paint. Let me sit before I say this. I've seen better. I've never really stopped and really looked at Yeely's work for real. I've had a couple Yeely clients and they look good, but for me to consistently go through pew. For me to sit there and consistently scroll through Yeely's work. And now keep in mind, the stuff that people post, that's their best work. Uh, Guichardo. Yes, I can put Guichardo on there. This is the work that you stand by. You proud of this shit. So for her to post this stuff that she's... And yes, and I heard she got real trash bedside manner. Um, I just wasn't impressed. Like, there's better options... I think people go because they either don't do enough research or maybe because their homegirl went. But there's no way that you could sit up here, scroll through at least 40 to 50 of Yeely's pictures. I scroll through maybe about 100 or 200 of them and still want to go. If you go on to Yeely, it's because you ain't got nothing better to do. Is she bad? No. Is she consistent? Fuck no. Not worth my coin. Um, I've seen better. Not a lot of butt projection. Too much visceral fat is trapped above the belly button near the sternum area. That is one of my biggest pet peeves and it grinds my gears. I don't care how small your waist is here and if you flat down here and you got a golf ball, not a golf ball, fuck that, a softball sitting above your belly button because you had too much visceral fat. No one talked to you about your diet, told you to lose weight. She snatched you in like a draw bag, pulled it tight, sold it up and sent you on your way. And now you looking like who done it what for and need a round two. That was consistently Yeely's look. Everybody was left with this fucking softball above their belly button because bedside manner wasn't there. They weren't informed of how to take care of themselves. They compressed the shit out of themselves going in this direction, but probably didn't get enough massages going home. Like part of it is the client's fault when I read people's bodies. And part of it was the surgeon should have not like you can't pull somebody that tight that still has that much visceral fat sitting above uh, in the upper abdomen area. I don't like it. And then the clients that did look good, the ones that like overall look good, had an old school 19, 1970s natural look to them. And she did moderate chin lipo. How you get chin lipo? 
you had three chins before surgery. And now after surgery, after you healed, you still got two chins. Why you still got a double chin after you had chin lipo? And then the bitch posted it. Either, or maybe she's not her. Maybe her team posted it. Y'all was proud of this. There's two Robles. Were you referring to Dr. Martin Roble? Yes. There's another Roble? What the fuck? The Roble I found was Martin Roble. And Martin Roble wasn't bad. I didn't have... There was nothing bad I said about Martin Roble except Martin Roble did not do really good work on BBW clients. That was it. That's all I had to say about Roble. Had no problem with Roble. Who's the other Roble? Light. Light underscore light underscore. Who was the other one? Moving on from Yee Lee. Oh, yeah, I got that Roble too. Mm hmm. That Roble coming up. I forgot about it. That's one hell of a first fucking name. <laughs> Can't miss that name. But yes, I had that Roble as well. All right. Next, um, blame it on the weed. I didn't. Uh, how about Bella, the older one? Can I go in order? In order. I ain't get there yet. I feel like I need somebody who moderates my uh, my live for me. All right. Next, we got Felix Almanzar. <sighs> maybe I should just show y'all. So y'all can see what I see. And maybe y'all can be as frustrated as I am. Felix Almanzar. IG. So there's three. Isla Roble? God damn it. I guess there are three Robles. Yeah, I don't I don't have that one. I got Martin and Walkiris. Um What I'm about to go over from a client standpoint, the work is amazing. And he just uploaded another motherfucking picture because that wasn't there when I was. <sighs> what I'm about to go over from a client standpoint looks amazing. This is the type of surgeon that you think you would want, except you don't. Because this type of, um, keep saying client, surgeon. This type of surgeon, uh, we are on number 20. So we got 20 more. This type of surgeon cannot possibly give a fuck about your life, taking you with a BMI this high. Before I went to go get my reduction, I went to go lose weight. My BMI was a 42. These clients that I'm looking at, like he takes not even BBW. These are morbidly obese clients. And it's not he's not doing one procedure on them. He does anywhere from two four or five types of different types of procedures inside of one. Their BB, their BMIs have easily got to be 50 or above. What's my man's name who has no chill, Dr. Now? And he looks at these clients and be like, no, you need to go lose some weight first. And that's these people who's about to die because they so fucking big. That's medical. And he's telling them, no, this is elective. And he still does the work on them. Um, I haven't seen this one yet. God damn it, you really gonna make me log in? What the fuck? Um just let me go. Man, I swear it's always my devices. You're really not gonna let me open this up, asshole. That's why I don't nobody like you. Close. Hold on. You've been logged out. Of course I have. Log in. That's not going to work. What did I change my password to? Fuck, I don't remember. Hold on, y'all. Don't nobody go nowhere. All y'all stay still for just a second. I damn sure would not have remembered that password. <laughs> All right. Uh, exclamation mark, login, cool, update. Yes, I want you to update my password. Um, t 
turn this around. Okay. So this is what she started at. All right? Not okay. This is close to half of a body. This is what she started at. Not okay. This is half of this. The amount of blood vessels that were cut to achieve this look. The amount of fat and skin that was removed to achieve this look. The amount of blood that was lost to achieve this look. On the outside looking at you like, damn, yes, that's my doctor. This is death. This is not okay. This is, a, and then I am, I'm not going to knock DR. I, I had surgery in DR. I like DR, but I don't know if DR has the same cleansing um, process when it comes to um, checking blood. You need multiple blood transfusions for this. Whose blood they giving you? Yours? Did you sit down and do a blood transfusion first? Not okay. So as you scroll through, or as I scroll through, let me do it on the big screen since I don't have to open them up. Scroll through all these clients. Everyone is big. Everyone is huge. See all? You're going to make me log in? Yup. Everyone isn't even a BBW. Everyone is morbidly obese. This is dangerous as fuck. To go from this this to this. Do you see all of this that's hanging off? This is dangerous. I don't care if the end result looks good. It is not worth your life to look good. Do it in more. And it's not that you can't go from this to this. You can. Not in one round. Like, are you kidding me? This is at least one third her body mass to this. Um, his Instagram is Dr. Felix Almansar. He has just as many and a lot of them wind up being undocumented deaths in the DR. Dangerous ass surgeon. Untalked about dangerous ass surgeon. Oh, Bay refilled my cup. Y'all, he really is the greatest. I think I like fuck with him just because I can. But he's amazing. I love me some him. Well, back to Felix Almazar. I don't love me some him. He will snatch the fuck out of you. All of this in one session. And then you might die afterwards. It's not okay. Um, and people keep going to him because he, he'll take you when nobody else will. When everybody else is like, oh yeah, you need to lose weight first. Well, all right, let me go hop over here to my man, Felix. You got to love yourself and care about yourself more than that. Plastic surgery is not a joke. It's not a game. We glamorize the end results. We romanticize the end results, but certain things aren't worth it. Whatever it's going to cost. You know how we talk about it. We put up these quotes like. If it if it, it costs me my peace. It's too expensive. Oh, man. If it costs me my. Um, my happiness. My joy is too expensive. How about if it costs you your life. It's too expensive. We're going to move on. Alright next I got Augustina. Duran. I actually like Duran. Duran is just hella fucking particular. Um, my surgeon was, uh, Francisco Rodriguez. Um, I already did that. Duran is really, really, really particular when it comes to who she takes as a client. Um, Duran knows what she can and can't do and who she can and can't do it on. So all I'm going to say about Duran is if you're interested in being a Duran doll or you like Duran's work, look at the foundation of the clients before. And if you don't look like their foundation, Duran's not your surgeon. I mean, you can reach out to the coordinators. There's nothing wrong or going to hurt for asking, but their coordinators and a lot of this is going to be done through WhatsApp. So if you're interested in having surgery in the DR, download WhatsApp and communicate with them through there. 
But um, Duran turns a lot of people away. So does, I haven't gotten to her yet, but so does Nathalie Bello. Um, she just knows what she can and can't do and who she can and can't make look good. So if you're not the client that she can like size, um, she's not going to take you. Um, but Duran does her better work on clients. She, I've seen a few skinny girls, but for the most part, she doesn't do skinny real, real good. Like she doesn't size. Is that a, I say that's a DMV term for us. Um, not real skinny clients, but, uh, between medium, thick, um, athletic, Duran would work wonders on you. Like, have you sitting here like, this bitch just gave me a whole new life. <laughs> Duran is amazing if you are Duran's type of client. They're, um, consistently amazing. Um, Duran did have a run-in with some infections. I think in the past, she works out of CIPLA. I think that has been fixed since because Sipla got shut down. And then she had did have her bedside manner is amazing. She's caring. She's patient. Um, she had a death last year. I don't remember what happened. I didn't follow up with the autopsy. It is on Doll Memorial. But um, nothing bad to say about Duran overall. Love her work. Consistently good, but on the body type that she knows that she can work on. Um, all right. Next we have Dr. Soto and I gave Soto a blue check. So I gave Duran a blue check and I gave Soto a blue check. Um, Soto, uh, does great face definition. So Soto slices the shit out of the face. Um, uh, chin lipo, cheek lipo. Um, he'll fill in if you get VSG and let's say your face is sunken in in certain areas. Um, fillers with your own fat though um soto did really good face definition and lipo slimming of the face um naturally oh so i like soto better for someone had asked earlier who's good for petite clients soto soto is better with shorter clients and when i say short i mean somewhere between like 410 and like 54 soto is your surgeon um, Carlos Velasco is not on here. I don't think. No. All right. Um, but, uh, what else does Soto do good that I liked? Besides being good for petite clients. Uh, Soto is a great round two surgeon. Um, he did really good cleanup work on other surgeons work. Or even his own work. Like his round twos. It's not that his round one was bad. But he just knocked it out the park with these round twos. Thank you everybody who's wishing me congrats. Pew. Whoop. <laughs> that was a ring drive by. Um, his incisions were undetectable. His incisional lines were clean. Um, beautiful lines. Really great projection. Um, a great butt projection. And crazy ass great hip projection. Love Soto. Soto have you out here looking like a whole snack. Entree. Dessert. All of that shit. Soto. Alright, next we have Tania Medina de Garcia. I don't think I like Medina. I've worked on a few Medina dolls in person. And they were okay. One of them was amazing. But consistently, I didn't like Medina. Um, she does better work on slimmer clients. Um, she does sculpt curves. Very nice. Um, you would have a bubble butt. Um, but occasionally more than I was comfortable with, uh, leaves clients wide if they weren't already skinny. So if you're already skinny and maybe you just have a diastasis and need muscle repair, Medina's good for that. If you're a slim girl and you want an athletic look, she's good for that. But anything that's not those two, she left clients very wide. And maybe she should take on Duran's approach and stick to the clients that she's good on working with. But um, she does she does work on petite girls as well. So I put Medina down for petite. Medina's not bad. It's just if you aren't um, a very specific type of client with a very specific foundation, Medina is not your surgeon. There wasn't anything wrong, like, uh, I, the only thing I didn't like was the, she leaves clients wide when she would do the tummy tucks. 
<sighs> All right. A whole bunch of people don't ask for it. Y'all ready? Natalie Bello. All right, Bello. Um, oh, I didn't have shit to bad say about Bello. Um, Bello, I heard, does not have the best bedside manner. And I take it back. I do have something bad to say about Bello. As of recently, um, Bello has been burning the living shit out of clients with lipo burns. And these are clients who have never had surgery before at all. But if you don't get burned, and I think you wind up getting burned because how aggressive she is with the lipo. Um, Bello's work is fucking phenomenal. I... Some of my favorite work I've seen coming out of the DR has been from Bello. If you don't get burned. You won't die. But you might need skin transfers. Um, I love her pics on, on Instagram. She posts some fire ass pics. And I see how people wind up getting enticed and pulled in. Because of the pics that she posts on Instagram. But it cannot offset those burns. Honestly she needs to go to Columbia. Why does she need to go to Columbia? Um, her work is really good, at least from what she posts. I have worked on um, a few Bello dolls in person. And um, a couple of them had burns too. She said, look at her client's pre-ops. And if you don't have their body, then it's a no. Correct. Um, she will not take you if you don't look like any of her client's pre-op photos. They turn your way real quick. But you can still reach out to her coordinators and... Um, if you reach out to our coordinators, they'll be like, mm -mm, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for you, dog. But you go see one of these other surgeons that we fuck with. And we're like, but we want Bello. Oh, that's so cute. People in hell, they want popsicles. They can't handle it either. But you can't have some of these other surgeons. That's how they coordinators handle you. They curve you real quick. Her work is bomb. You just might get burned. And that's if you have that body type. Um, The body she look gives look more like Columbia to me. I can see that. I receive that. All right, next I have Kelvin Eusebio Paulino. And if anybody's wondering, out of 40, we are on number 25. Good Lord. All right, um, Paulino snatches, sucks you dry, low tummy tuck line, natural healing boobs, but it's not consistent. Some clients were left crazy flat. But then some clients still had some pudge, looked like they didn't have surgery at all. And this was after the surgery and after they healed. Um, some BBL clients looked the fuck the same after the surgery was done. Um, tummy tuck lines, they weren't consistent. Some were uneven in a way that looks like two different people did it. Um, clients were often left shaped very odd. And then um, his best pictures were at the top. It's a no for me. Um, it's a toss up whether. Don't touch me right now. It's a toss up whether they're going to turn out good or not. And I don't like it. Were you responding to me? No. You okay. texted me? Huh? You were talking to me? Well, you said, oh, okay. I thought you were responding to cut. I just farted. Uh, no! <laughs> crazy! <laughs> UCBO is a no. Um, thank you. So they're really coming out with it's okay. Movies. Patrick just said, Congratulations, babe. Thank you. All right, next we have number 26, Alexandrish Carvindrish. Um, so while Alexandrish is she's talented to do whatever on whoever, um, like I've seen a few tummy tucks. But all old girl do is boobs. But she does a good job with the boobs. Like, she be in boob heaven. Um, she works on slim clients. Uh, she's not big on curves. So whenever she would do lipo or tummy tuck, her clients were left straight up and down on the sides. Um, she does boobs all day long. A few tummy tucks. Um, but... The clients had large aprons. Aprons are basically like if somebody were to have like three kids and they got all that skin that stretched out and then just hang straight down. But underneath of all of that skin, if you were to take the skin up, gather it and put like a, a hair tie around it. 
um the rest of their body is bomb so all you gotta do is just eh, and cut the extra skin off and then sew them up but sew them up pretty um that's an apron so they're still slim they just got a whole bunch of skin in front and we call it apron but she seriously just doesn't curve anybody like you're she will shape the shit out of your boobs you will have some bomb augmentations or reductions or lift but um you won't be sculpted does great boobs though uh next i have is ricardo ventura herrera i liked him you get a blue check you get a blue check you all get blue checks no you don't so ricardo ventura herrera spelled just how it sounds um ricardo does amazing athletic looks only works only works on skinny clients slim clients or clients who are partially in shape um brush reconstruction and revisions are crazy dope um crazy amazing ab etching um he truly this is out of all of the surgeons he truly takes his time and sculpts you um like every single client that i looked at for like two three hundred photos look like a work of art consistently but only on small clients small skinny slim or partially in shape you gonna walk out of there with like you have been a track athlete for the past 10 years <laughs> his work was super bomb on skinny people all right next we have dr miguel moda moda um <laughs> so i wrote his name wrong at first and i thought it was soda and i was like uh or soto even though i already went over soto i was like soto is a no-no but um it's not soto it's moda so dr miguel moda is a no-no um does simple natural no curves no waste um he will leave you flat but i wasn't impressed uh most of his clients they look the same after the surgery as before the surgery um, and then he uses way too many stock photos, which is a red flag. Why the fuck are you posting other people's work, dog? Yeah. You didn't do this. This not yours. Um, it just wasn't enough work for me to be comfortable with. And then the few photos that he did use, he has been reusing those same photos for the past like two, three years. So Moda is a Noah. I don't know if that works or not, but that's all I got. Next, we have Dr. Uh, number 29, Dr. Rafael Torres Acosta. Um, didn't like him. He does good butt projection, but that's it. No hips. Um, he leaves his tummy tuck clients wide. Um, because he has good butt projection, you can get a BBL, but not a tummy tuck unless you're already skinny. Next, we have Malal. I am not a fan of Malal. Malal is not consistent. Um, Malal does these weird ass um, belly buttons. And y'all can fight me if you want to because I know there's some Malal dolls who will ride or die for this man. But um, I wasn't a fan of Malal. Um, do we have to talk about Desenia? Who in this room does not know about Desenia? If you are watching this video right now, or if you're or if you watch this live now or if you're watching this live that i recorded and you want to watching it like three years from now and desenia is still fucking working don't go to him uh desenia is um way too aggressive and not in a good way does not give a fuck or have any regard for human life whatsoever um i think last year he had six deaths that i remember of like, that's more than what Cabral had last year. Can we please, please stop going to the sink? Who is the singer? The singer is a doctor. He's new ish, slightly newer. He's not new, but he's newer to the popular uh, surgery community scene. Um, did he even go to med school? Girl, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, it used to be floating around. Did I write down Maldonado? Maldonado does not have enough work for me to write down Maldonado. I'll put down Maldonado. But all I'm going to... I'm going to say now. What I'm going to say later. What I'm going to say now. 
Maldonado is questionable in sketch. There's not enough. I'm even in the Maldonado group. There's two Maldonados. There's one in Mexico and there's one in the DR. And the one in the DR, um, his work wasn't consistent. The few little pieces of work that I did see, I would not comfortably suggest anybody to go to Maldonado. He ruptured my friend's esophagus. Who did? Desenia? I already went over Dr. Laurent. I love Dr. Laurent. Um, uh, Desenia has been around, I want to say, for maybe, at least in the, in the community, heavily. Two and a half years, to my knowledge. Um, and uh, he has a crazy amount of dust for him to have been working in this short amount of time in this capacity but because he over lipos the shit out of clients and gives them crazy results clients keep going to them either they're taking that risk or they didn't do enough research but he kills way too many girls i don't care how talented you are i you're more decenia is more dangerous than just cabral and i can't stand cabral all right Next, we have Lehman Vargas. Lima didn't have enough work for me. Um, I did request. I'm going to follow up on, on Lima for y'all. Um, there were a few pictures that I looked at. Uh, but from real self to Google to his even his actual website. Lima, I love you. Night, kiddo. Um, Lima did not have a lot of pictures for me to go off of. But from the few that I saw... Gave a gorgeous vixen look. Um, the waist was in the small waist, or I put teeny waist, and perfect bubble butt. But there wasn't a lot of work for me to go off of with Lima. I requested to um, join or be a part of their Instagram. So whenever we revisit the DR, I'll go back over Lima Vargas again. All right, next we got the second row blaze, even though apparently there's three fucking Roble, but uh, Walkiris Roble, great projection. Um, I don't like Walkiri Roble for round one. I prefer Walkiri Roble for round two because of the perfecting and sculpting. Um, everyone that had the best results was either a VSG client or a round two client. The few clients that I saw were round one clients um, that, especially if they had tummy tucks, hated it. Roble, Wakiri Roble is better for round two or if you are a BSG client with a shit ton of loose skin. All right, so here's the next tip that I wrote down. Um, and I guess this was like, well, no, I wrote it down when I was talking about Almazar, but I just didn't have room where I wanted to write it. Um, what you should do if you're interested in getting plastic surgery is you need to lose the weight. I don't care how you, yes, I do care. Lose the weight healthily. We're not doing a Whitney Houston diet. Crack is whack. Crack is cheap. Words of the beloved Whitney Houston. Lose the weight first. Whether you get weight loss surgery, whether you go to the gym, whether you do keto, whatever it is, lose the weight, get the skin cut off, and then get lipo to perfect the shape in that order. Y'all really want to know about Carlos St. Hilaire, don't y'all? Um, tip... Number six, lose the weight, get the skin cut off, and then get lipo to perfect the shape in that order. Um... Because a crap ton of y'all keep asking about Carlos St. Hilaire. I will look Carlos up while we on the phone. Well, on the live. But after this, I have, I think, like four or five more surgeons and then we're done. St. Hilaire. Um, and the page is on private. Fantastic. I might not be able to, unless I can find his work somewhere else. And I'm not looking that hard this late at night. Um, I pulled up his real self. So if I can find something on here while I'm on the phone with y'all, we can go over it. 
Um, log in. Log in. Log in. Nope, didn't work. All right, we're not doing St. Hilaire today. All right. Um, next I have Perez Rosario. Um, I'm glad you like the unicorn oil. Uh, Perez Rosario. I said, eh, looks photoshoppy. It's a good round one surgeon. Uh, you won't get mind blowing results in one round with this surgeon. So if you like the surgeon, you like their work, you like their bedside manner, and you want to look a certain type of way, and you go to Rosario, it's going to re require you to have two rounds. Um, but overall, Rosario in the DR gives me work. The, the vibes that Rosario gives me are of local surgeons work here in the States. What the fuck? Did you just throw something at me? Huh? Nothing. I didn't do nothing. Okay. Um, Rosario gives me vibes of local surgeons. There was nothing impressive. There was nothing to even scream DR. I was like, are you sure you're in the DR? Do you know you're in the DR? All right. After Perez, um, Perez Rosario, I have Patrick St. Louis. Who wanted to know about this man? And for why? He got a nasty ass um, uh, bedside manner. Um, my exact words were, eh, I've seen better times two. Um, too many on the table picks. Um, and the clients that he posts, everybody looks good on the table. Everybody looks good when they're face down and their booty tooed up in the air. He even has a whole bunch of them where the table is cocked up in the middle, which is going to flatten out the stomach and then make the booty stick up even more. But there were very little to no pictures of clients who were healed. Couldn't see their tummy tuck line. Um, too many clients where before who did that? And I was like, I don't like it. I think it was Jose Mora where the first picture was them naked or their pre-op picture. And then afterwards was them healed with their clothes on. I don't like it. And it's not to say that you don't heal good. It's hard to do research when the information that's being presented isn't completely forthright. Like, I need to be able to see the client naked before and naked after to compare the results. I need to see the client naked before and then naked after, but at least healed. For, give me at least four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Do you not ask your clients for pictures afterwards? You just take the pictures while they're still laying on the table? Everybody looks good on the table. There's no way to gauge how someone, um, someone's portfolio if it's full of pictures of a client or, or clients who are still laying down on tables. Um... Oh, and he's really shysty. He raises his prices on clients during their pre-op or during their markup, but like by a lot. So you thinking you coming down and you paying 5,300 and all of a sudden he's like quoting you an extra thousand or you not going to get your surgery. That's not cool. So Patrick St. Louis is canceled for me. Um, next, I have um, Ivelisse Bello. That is the other Bello that somebody was asking about, the older Bello. And the older Bello, to me, does all of the stuff that the younger Bello doesn't or doesn't want to do. The older Bello, um, she takes slightly larger clients than Nathalie, gives re realistic results, and is, uh, does a great mommy makeover. Um, I actually really liked Ivelisse Bello. Valenzuela, the last three we're going to breeze through. So Valenzuela... Um, somebody had asked for or asked about, but I can't see his work at all. Only thing that's on Valenzuela's Instagram, his website, and on Real Self are stock photos of other surgeons' work. It's not even of his work. Next, um, I have Manon. Manon, um, is either hit or miss, not consistent. Um, leaves clients wide with a lot of skin after their tummy tucks, and their belly buttons are really stupid and ugly. Um, and then... Julio Suarez Molinas. Good work. Great tummy tuck. Liked it. Consistent. Didn't blue check it because I wasn't like crazy impressed, but he was consistent. And the last on my list is Cabral. 
Do we have to talk about Cabral again? I could have sworn throughout this entire life between Desenia and Cabral, I'll let y'all know how I feel. Cool. We don't have to talk about Cabral. That um concludes the DR search for today. Um, I will revisit the DR again just because one that was 40 surgeons. Um, and it took me basically an hour and a half to get through those. The Dominican Republic is big as shit. So I will add right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine surgeons that are gonna start off the second DR. I will do the second round of DR. Let's just do it next week so I can stay consistent. Um, if there are any other surgeons that I did not co cover who are in the Dominican Republic that you all want me to go over, let me know real quick before I dip set on y'all. Um, and I know there were some uh, Disla. Uh, um, someone had asked about Ale Alexandrish Carvendrish. I can barely say that woman's name, but all she want to do is boobs and she does good boobs, but it's not enough of anything else for me to give any, um, feedback on, but Garcia doll, all of the ones that you want to talk about. I talked about Kurt Duran. I talked about Cabral. Um, and I added Guichardo to, um, the one that we'll do next Tuesday. Are you still doing your webinar this week? Yes. Um, Alejandro Mora. I already talked about Alejandro Mora. I was in love with. That was at the beginning. Number three. Blue check. Good luck. But I calm. I already did Alejandro. Uh, Franklin De Jesus. Got that. I'll add it. Um, Michael Ferreras. Did I miss something? Oh no. Okay. Um, if there's any other surgeons that you all want me to cover, um, you can DM it to me and I'll add it to the list and we'll just do this next Tuesday. I went over Lauren. Um, is it Lauren or Laurent? I think it's Laurent. Or maybe I just sound fancy saying like Laurent. 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 But I went over Laurent. Um Yes, the webinar is going to be this Thursday. If you are not already signed up for the webinar, the webinar is post-op and body contouring training um, prequel. Pre, pre, is that a thing? Prequel? Yeah. I'm used to saying prerequisite. It's not a prerequisite. I don't require you to do this first, but it is a prequel to the um, in-person training that I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you're interested, if you are a therapist, if you are a provider, nurse, esthetician, if you know one, um, this industry is life changing for everybody involved. Salud for everybody involved. DM me if you need the link. It, I don't know what you shouldn't have to DM me. It's actually don't DM me. I lied. If you want the link to the webinar, you want to join the webinar. If you just want to come hang out with us on the webinar, you don't have to DM me for that. It's in my bio. It's in the like last two or three posts that I put up yesterday. It's going to be on the post that I put up tomorrow morning just click the link add yourself sign up it's free and on thursday i am canceling because there was no other time that we could do it i will not be with you all on thursday because i'm gonna be going doing a webinar so instead of coming here to hang out with me go sign up for the webinar and then we can hang out there and we'll talk and chitter chat and you'll get greater insight on how to do what we do and make money at it a whole bunch of it but thank you all um i've been rapping for quite some time now i'm gonna go and finish harassing bay my future husband Pew! ring drive by and i will see you all tomorrow um tomorrow we'll be back to our regular scheduled program of y'all asking whatever the fuck y'all want to ask <laughs> don't be good today when you were meant to be great talk to y'all later boy